Hi, I'm Jared Falk, and today I'm going to give you an 8-bar bass drum independence etude. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to help separate your hands with your feet, okay? Because the idea is to be able to do whatever you want with your right foot or your left foot when your hands can do whatever they want. And I know a lot of beginners would have trouble with their right foot wanting to follow exactly what their right hand is doing, or the opposite, their right hand is following exactly what their right foot is doing. And so it's really hard to separate those two. Um, so what I've done is I've written out this one complete exercise. Now, if you want to take it bar by bar, that's totally fine. And you can kind of work out the kinks and then eventually put it all back together. Um, but what I'd recommend doing when practicing this is start at a comfortable tempo, somewhere that's really, really easy, okay? Learn exactly what the exercise is. Memorize it so you don't even need the sheet music anymore, okay? Just memorize it. Get comfortable, develop the muscle memory, then start to speed it up, you know, go 5 BPM. Once you get it down for, let's say, 32 bars straight, so four times through, um, speed it up 5 BPM and see what happens. All right, and so I'm just going to play it for you guys again. And in the intro, I did it at 100 beats per minute. But I also wanted to show you guys how it sounds slower. So we're going to do it at 70 beats per minute. And I'm going to show you how it sounds really slow and broken down. And if you want, just with your hand, tap along what the bass drum is doing, okay? So on Bar one, it's going to go one, two, three, four. Bar two, it'll be going one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and two and three and four and one. That two, that three, that four and one. Okay, just kind of tap along with me exactly what the bass drum is doing. Here we go at 70 beats per minute. Now I'm going to show you how it sounds faster at 120 beats per minute. Okay, so you can see how that's going to be very, very helpful. Now, you're probably wondering, what's the next step? What if you can master this and you're a tempo that you're comfortable with? Well, the next step is basically just adding in different hand patterns. So right now, my hand pattern is right hand on the hi-hat, eighth notes, left hand, snare on beats two and four. Um, where I would take it next is I would just move a 16th note pattern with my hand. So I would just one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, and I would practice it like that. So let me show you guys how that sounds at 100 beats per minute. And from there, the possibilities are endless, all right? You can, you can add any hand pattern, just go in and, and find a drum book or go on a website and find a drum beat, say, that's a great hand pattern, I'm gonna play the bass drum independence etude underneath it, okay? This is just one example of one hand pattern. This is literally an, an exercise that we'll be practicing for the rest of our lives, okay? <laughs> Not trying to depress you or anything, but it's just, that's what we do. We always wanna get better and better. Even the best drummers in the world they still want to get better and better. They're never 100% satisfied with where they're at. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson, and I hope to see you again soon.